Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Red Beard. Um, I know what you're thinking. Why do you have two different bottles of rare beads sitting in front of you, Kelly? Well, these. This is the one that I did a review on last week. Well, shortly after that, I found this one. Now, the new offering from Wild Turkey is the 116.8, which is what this one is. But this is the old bottle. Well, they had this one sitting right next to the new bottle and the new label. And for those of you who even care, on the back of this one, the old label, it actually says, bottled by the Austin Nichols Distilling Company. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I figured I'd pick one up. I have two of them now, so 40, 45 bucks, not too bad. Um, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and review this one, the new one, and then I'm going to do a slight comparison and uh, see which one I think tastes better. Oh, man. That wild turkey, that's some good stuff. little spicy on the palate really spicy going down the throat but overall I mean it's got that quintessential wild turkey flavor big oak caramel vanilla cinnamon I mean black pepper spice it's uh it's got everything in it plus the alcohol to boot Yeah, it's definitely spicy. Oh, also today, I was able to pick up another bottle. Found uh, found another bottle of uh, Wild Turkey Forgiven, batch number 302. Uh, if you've never had it, it is delicious. So if you ever see one, they don't make them anymore, pick it up. It's good. It's good stuff. They do have a slightly different nose. I feel like I get more, I won't say caramel or toffee or something on the nose on this one. This one's like cinnamon and oak. Yeah, that one's more like caramel. Big spice on the back end. Uh, these are pretty close to the same. Definitely two different noses. The, the, the flavor profile is pretty close. This one might be a little more little more easier on the palate than this one could be the alcohol
a lot more spicy for sure if i had to pick one without doing a blind tasting i'm just sitting right here i enjoy this one a little bit better it doesn't have near as much spice on the palate and on the back end but this one i would uh i don't even remember what i scored that one i would give this one a solid eight uh the 116.8 i would give it a solid eight uh I personally think that Wild Turkey Rare Breed is just a solid buy at around $45, give or take, your uh, market for a hundred for a, a barrel proof whiskey, 45 bucks. Yeah, that's hard to beat. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one eight. Um, it's got a little more spice than what I care for, and. That could be for any number of reasons, not just the alcohol. Yeah. I think I like the 112.8, or this this bottling, a little bit better than this one. But, oh well. It's just my opinion. You can take it or leave it. Uh, I personally advise everyone to go out and try this stuff. Buying these old bottles that aren't being released anymore, the old labels, the old bottles, it's fun to find because then you got something that most people don't have access to. So, um, Also, I guess I'm going to be in charge of the Bearded Idiots podcast Snapchat. So uh, if you guys are on Snapchat, I guess I'm going to be pretty active there just posting random stupidity and whenever I find stuff like this and funny memes and who knows what this idiocy uh, but don't forget to check us out uh, I've got links in the description or links in the description we got links on my homepage in the banner also the uh, Google document in the description that has all of my scores and everything and keeps up to date with it so it's just a quick snapshot you can look at it and peruse uh, everything in that so I think that's all I got I've got uh, this one I picked this one up today uh, I'll do a review on it pretty soon so this is called Tawakaro I got to meet the master distiller of this whiskey um, about a month and a half two months ago two months ago maybe um, at one of the East Texas Bourbon Society's uh, monthly meetings. He's in Grapevine, I think Grapevine, yeah, Grapevine, Texas. Um, this is a four grain bourbon, aged about a year right now, and so far it is the only canteen styled whiskey bottle on the market. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna do a review on it pretty soon. I'll actually see get to see him this coming weekend at the uh, local bourbon and bow ties event. So, also if you haven't checked it out, the Texas Bourbon Shootout is Friday night. Jim Murray will be here to crown the best bourbon in Texas. Unfortunately, this one's not gonna be in the grouping, but hey, better luck next year, I guess. Uh, but like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Have a nice day. Take care, folks.